Welcome to Live a Better Life Tarot Channel. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Your donations are welcome and appreciated. If you are new to my channel, please watch the featured video. It should shed some light on the way I do, my readings and my approach overall. The reading you are about to watch cannot and will not resonate with everybody. However, if it does, I hope it helps you live a better life one way or the other. Let's begin. Hi Scorpio, this is your weekly July 26th through August 1st tarot reading. I do multiple spreads per reading. This first spread is on new love this week. We've got the King of Cups, the Three of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Knight of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, another Scorpio, or Pisces. Or you could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. So this is one of those spreads, guys, that it could definitely go vice versa or the other way around. We've got uh, the King of Cups here. This is either you, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. Or it could be another water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Or this is just someone who could be potentially... Um, someone you'll be involved with in the future. So here it goes. So we've got this King of Cups and this King of Cups is uh, making plans. Actually uh, he or she is already done making plans on how to approach someone. And they're actively starting to implement that plan into action. And because they've got their eye on someone and that someone is uh, someone we see in the uh, Nine of Pentacles. See? The Nine of Pentacles. This is a card of somebody who is self-sufficient, independent, someone who projects their, conf their self-confidence, uh, someone who stands out of the crowd, someone who is very attractive and uh, everybody wants to be with, right? And um, the action plan involves rushing in and sweeping this person off their feet. <laughs> That's what I see in the Knight of Swords. A very straightforward plan, right? Rush in, um, charm them, tell them things, give them gifts, and uh, just claim this person in a good way, obviously. So, like I said, it could go vice versa. It could be you making this plan and doing this to somebody who you really like, someone you admire, and uh, Perhaps you're not going to take any prisoners here. You're ready to conquer. Or it could be happening to you, uh, Scorpio. Somebody is really uh, anxious <laughs> to get together with you. This is actually a pretty good positive spread. Um, I really like it. Someone is very determined to uh, be with you or you're very determined to be with somebody. Scorpio, if you'd like to see the extended video to this new love spread, the link is in the description below. In the extended, I'll do two or three more spreads, depending on how the situation unfolds. We'll take a look at what to expect from this new connection over the next month, and I'll do the advice spread. I do extensions for new love only, because that's what people are interested in the most. Scorpio, if you are already in a relationship or if you're married, this spread is for you. We've got the Hangman, the Empress, the Page of Cups, and the Page of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Well, this is a pretty good spread. If you have kids, Scorpio, then something could be going on around your kids. Nothing bad, nothing you need to be afraid of. It's just that there's a lot of uh, time that you'll be spending with your children. Um, we've got the hangman here. This is just the indication that uh, everything is going normal. There is nothing critical going on. It's fine. It's just your regular routine that you're dealing with. Another way I can interpret this spread is either you or your partner or both of you are getting enlightened about uh, expanding your family. Um, I'm talking about kids again, yeah, because the Empress could be some uh, somebody who is pregnant. The Empress is the mother of the uh, tarot deck, so uh, you and your partner could be um, thinking about um, having kids or actually actively um, doing something about it, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So this is a very nice, very pleasant, very calm feeling I'm getting, a very um, stable and steady vibe. Um, it's going to be a good week for you if you're married or if you are in a relationship, Scorpio. 
Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Scorpio. Keep in mind, uh, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or maybe five years ago. We've got the Ace of Cups, the Fool, the Hierophant, and the Knight of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Taurus or a Water Sign, a Cancer, another Scorpio, or Pisces. Wow, Scorpio, you are on the roll here. You've got love all over the reading, even with the X. <laughs> That is, of course, if you uh, are single and uh, want your ex back. Um, so you could be dealing with the Taurus. The Hierophant is the personal Taurus card. Or a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. But I think this is what um, is happening here. Because um, I think the Knight of Cups is the energy of the person coming in. Could be any sign. See in the Knight of Cups, is holding a cup of love, and that's the cup we see in the Ace of Cups. That's exactly it right there. Uh, this is a very emotional, very loving offer. This person does have uh, genuine, authentic, deep feelings towards you, and uh, what they want with you is the Fool with the Hierophant. The Fool is... Uh, they want you to take a chance with them, a second or a third chance. They want you to uh, take a leap of faith with them. And uh, they also want to get married. Because the Hierophant could be symbolizing marriage or a committed relationship. The Hierophant usually shows up when it's something long term, something committed. So this is an amazing spread, um, Scorpio. Like I said, you've got love across the board. Even the ex wants to uh, marry you. <laughs> um, it'll be up to you whether you want to um, rekindle this relationship with them but yeah the cards are suggesting that this person really really wants to be with you and uh, they still love you they're still in love with you and they see you as their future husband or wife uh, so congratulations Scorpio all right, Scorpio, this was supposed to be uh, a spread for your work, your business, and finances, which it possibly could be. But I think this is all about love again. Well, let's talk about work and business and finances first. We've got the six of wands. This is uh, you feeling victorious about something. This is your personal success. We've got the three of cups. This is you either uniting with somebody or reuniting or just celebrating. Perhaps you have a party at work. Uh, right or if you are starting a new job this is uh, the card of a union a happy union um, you will be really really happy about starting this new job we've got the four of ones here this is the card of your team at the, your new workplace or your existing workplace or you're just feeling like you belong there and we have the two of cups here on the bottom of the deck in this case, this is all about uh, signing papers, starting partnerships, starting something new, establishing something. Um, if you're signing a contract with somebody, this is going to this is going to be mutually beneficial for everybody. All right, and um, if we want to talk about love here, then it's pretty much the same thing. This is just celebration. This is you f f falling in love with somebody. The Two of Cups is one of the best cards when it comes to love. Um, to me, the Two of Cups is uh, when people are on the same page and the feelings are mutual, right? And the Six of Wands, you feeling victorious. The Six of Wands, back in the day, it was called the Proposal Card, so somebody wants to get married here. And the Four of Wands is one of the best cards when it comes to committed and stable relationships. And the Three of Cups is you're celebrating, you're just being as happy as you could possibly be. So. Um, yeah, this is a, a great spread for both work and love, Scorpio. Let's see what you're not expecting, Scorpio, this week. We've got the High Priestess, the Chariot, the Lovers, and the Star on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Cancer or a Gemini or an Aquarius. So every single card here is the uh, Major Arcana card. Is a Major Arcana card. And uh, this is yet another fantastic spread, Scorpio. You know, you couldn't get away from love this week even if you really wanted to. Love is going to be definitely in the air for you. So the High Priestess is something you're not expecting, which is what this whole spread is all about, right? The Chariot is either a Cancer you're dealing with or you could be going on a trip 
you could be getting a new car, you could be uh, moving forward with the love of your life. And the lovers is here is either a Gemini you're dealing with or this is a unconditional soulmate love, even a twin flame connection. And the star on the bottom of the deck is either an Aquarius you're dealing with or this is a wish come true, a dream come true for you. And the star usually symbolizes something that you've been wishing for for a while. So like I said, this is a, a, another fantastic spread. Four major arcana cards here. So this is something uh, that will change your life and it will change your life for the better. You'll have a fantastic and great week, Scorpio, and I think you're going to be deeply in love. And uh, hopefully this goes a very, very long way for you. I'm genuinely happy for you, Scorpio. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing, and subscribing.